welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today for Music Monday, I am giving you another out of the box demo. I know that's been my thing lately. But um see the thing is, is that I have been doing more recording from home than I've ever done before. Usually when I want to work on a song, I well, I write it here in my house first and then um and then I go to the studio and I record it. But now with the pandemic and all my friends are spread out all over the place and my musical friends that I like to work with. And so it just made sense to get a microphone so that I could record stuff for them. Now, mind you, I would love to set up a professional kind of little home studio. That's like, that's my goal, definitely. Someday in the future, Lord hear me. <laughs> So, someday in the future I would like to have my own little recording studio, but for now, I wanted to start off with a microphone that wasn't like too crazy expensive, but not too cheap either. Just something that would do the job, right? Just so I can record some vocals for people. The other thing that I was thinking as well that I might do later is I might just buy an interface. I, if you don't know what that is, I can explain that when I get one. Um, but I was just thinking maybe I could get an interface instead to like connect my mic and anyway back to what we're here for <laughs> so i got this mic off of amazon i know somebody needs to get me off of amazon i'm buying too much stuff off of there <laughs> so the brand name i'm i'm just gonna take a guess and i'm gonna say this is manly it's what it looks like to me so a manly professional condenser microphone and I'm going to open it up. This, uh, it's priced, I think right now at 65 But I got a deal on it because there was 30% off if you got more than one. And so I got one for my brother who has been thinking about doing like a podcasting sort of thing. Well, I didn't get it. My parents got it for him. So, ended up getting two of them and got 30% off on it, so that was cool. So, we've opened it up, and we have, of course, the user manual on top. Pages 1 through 5 are in English, so that's nice. Okay, so it says what it should come with. It should come with an anti-wind foam cap. This little cutie right here should come with the microphone body that would be helpful this guy right here i will say that based on the picture i was actually expecting this mic to be a little bit bigger i don't know pictures can be deceiving oh look at that it's so nice and I don't know how else you would pronounce that. If somebody knows how it's supposed to be pronounced, please let me know. But it looks like manly to me. That's all I got to say. Okay, so we do have the mic. What else? We should have the shock mount. This, my friends, is the shock mount. All right, here. Let me go ahead and take the plastic off of it so you can actually see it. Don't you just love getting packages though? It's like, it's like a birthday present every time. It's always exciting. Okay, so there's the shock mount. Looks nice. Feels sturdy so far. So of course, the worry with buying a mic off of Amazon is obviously what kind of sound quality are you going to get from it? And that is what we'll be testing out for sure. Okay, what's next? We got the microphone stand. Here that is. The microphone cable check got it 
And then also, because I will record, be recording straight into my computer, of course, we have the adapters. And they actually give you two, which is awesome. And it tells you in the instructions which one you should plug it into. Oh, it even says right here. You uh, plug, the red one is for the microphone, and then the green one is for headphones. Obviously, because you're going to be using the headphone jack to plug it in, so you would need a new jack for your headphones. Convenient and well thought out. Okay, so there is a second level to the box, and that is where we find the pop filter. Nice. And that is also where the bottom part of the... Oh, that's heavy. The bottom part of the stand is in the bottom there, too. Okay, so now that we have made sure that we have everything, and then it does have like specifications in here, like what the pickup pattern is, um, sorry, not pickup pattern, the polar pattern, and this is a cardioid, oh my god, I cannot speak today, it's a cardioid mic, sheesh. Okay, and then it says recording vocals. And it gives you information about recording vocals. I don't need to read through all that because if you want to get it, you will find out. Okay, so installation quick guide. We need to take the bottom of the stand, put the top part of the stand, then put the shock mount on top, then place the mic, then adjust the pop filter, and it should be ready to go. So let's do that real quick. See how quickly I can get this set up. While I'm doing this, in case you're wondering what's going on with my crazy hair today, <laughs> I just decided to let it go. I, um, I got out of the shower and didn't really know what to do with it, and I was like, you know what? That's it. I think I, like, I came downstairs and spoke to my parents and my dad was like, your hair looks good like that, you should just leave it. And I was like, you know what, let's do that. Why not? I could always re-wet it later and figure it out later. Okay, so, stand, stand. But yeah, some of you who are watching this video, I, I say that actually more than anything for the people who are subscribed to my channel who watch all my videos. <laughs> because I know people watching this video just to find out about the mic do not care what my hair looks like. <laughs> okay, so I think I might have screwed that in a little tight. Okay, mm, there we go. Got it? Done. Part one. Done. What was the next thing? Shock mount. Duh. Okay. Oh no. I mean, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Mm. Interesting. Seems never ending. Seems like it can keep spinning. Maybe this thing is supposed to tighten up and that's what stops it from spinning. You see here. Okay, if I do that, then it starts getting loose, so let me just wrap it around again to where I want it, and tighten this up. Yeah, okay. So, once you screw that down, then you tighten this knob, and that is what holds it in place. Guys, I cannot tell you how big of a fan I am of easy setups. Simple instructions, I love it. And it says um, to make sure that the Manly logo is looking at you. 
That is the front of the mic, so that is where you should be singing into or speaking into whatever your scenario may be. Just trying to make sure that it's sitting in here all the way. I think it is. Okay, yeah, cool. The jack is looking at me right underneath there. And so I did notice here just now when I was twiddling with it that it does um, adjust depending on what you need to do, right? And then, of course, this knob right here is what tightens that and keeps that in place. For me personally, I think it's just going to be easier for me to keep it straight on because I'll probably sit it on a table and sing into it and record something that way. And then finally, oh actually, I guess before you put the pop filter on, you could put this on first if you'd like. I know a lot of people who'd never use these, but hey, okay, here it is. Set up, and now we got the pop filter. Let me just see real quick here. Says it should be 10 to 20 centimeters away from the mic. So, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to measure that out because I don't want to keep you guys here for too long. I'd have to go find something to measure with. But yeah, so it says in there. 10 to 20 centimeters away from the mic, if you would please. Oh yes, sorry, I was not explaining what I was doing. Um, but this thing, I'm loosening it out so that I can attach it to the base of the stand. I don't think it really matters where you put it, as long as it works for you, right? Okay, got that tightened out, and it adjusts pretty... I feel like it adjusts pretty easily. Okay, actually I put it a little too low. I was not paying attention to where the placement was in the picture. Okay, the mic is set up. And I mean, just so, so far as the looks of it, it feels really sturdy. Like, the stand feels really sturdy. So, so far, I'm happy. Now, the most important thing, of course, is what the sound quality is like. So, I am going to go ahead and go to my computer now so I can plug it in. And I will try to record something and let's see how that goes. I am here now at my computer and I have GarageBand open and I have plugged in the mic which as I explained before is very simple I didn't think I needed to record that I just uh, plugged it into the red jack and plugged the adapter into my headphone jack on my laptop and here we are now so I thought I would just record a little something and see how it sounds so here we go wait I don't know what I want to sing <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. And I guess you say what? can make me feel this way my boy I'm talking about my boy alrighty guys so to wrap up this video I just want to give you my final thoughts and I also just decided to kind of show you guys here what I did when I was recording used a little adapter plugged it into the red one plugged the mic in right here used it recorded and I'm honestly pretty satisfied with this purchase. I think it's going to do the job just fine for me. It's going to work out perfectly for what I need to use it for. Also, if you have seen my other videos on the channel, you know that I do plenty of voiceovers on my videos. 
So it would be so nice to be able to use this mic now to record those voiceovers instead of using the built-in microphone on my computer. I wouldn't have purchased it if I just needed it for that though, because that's just me talking. The sound quality doesn't need to be amazing just to listen to me talk over some videos. But yeah, so I'm really excited about this mic, and I actually, I really liked it. I think um, for the price point, it's definitely going to do the job that I needed to do. So I am very excited to use it, and I actually have a deadline this weekend <laughs> to send a song to a friend. So this arrived just in the nick of time. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in purchasing it, or if you want to know more about the mic, you know, be sure to comment below any questions that you have about it, if there's anything you... I don't know, want to see or want to know about it that I could try to answer for you. I, you know, I'm going to mess around with it and do some more stuff. So, you know, any questions or comments you have, you know, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I will post the link in the description if you are interested in getting one yourself. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informational. You know, I am just here to kind of, you know, spread some info and show you guys what I'm getting. I'm started doing these because I figured, man, I'm ordering this stuff, and what if somebody else is wondering what it's like, too? You know, I I love Amazon, though, because if you don't like it, you can always return it, as long as, you know, you didn't damage it before returning it. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Tell me what to do when I'm missing you. Tell me what to say.